Hi everybody. Uh, it's a new week. I wanted to show you guys. Oops, sorry. I wanted to show you guys some stuff I picked up this week. Got some cool stuff to show you guys. Um, a sec here, just get a little organized. I guess I should have done it before. Um, there's some new image comics coming out that are really kind of cool. I'd like to talk about real quick. Um, they're really kind of interesting. Like images coming out. Scott mentioned this in one of his just recent videos. He, he's and uh, I agree that a lot of this a lot of images come out with some really amazing stuff. And uh, I just want to show you a few of the covers that like, they're coming out soon. That I thought would be kind of cool. Now let's be on my iPad so it'll go kind of dark for a second and then you'll be able to see it. Uh, there's 19 new series coming out from Image. This is the one I like to, uh, I'd like to check it out just because the cover looks really cool. But it's called Bitch Planet. It's about uh, a prison in outer space for women. So that should be pretty interesting to read. I just, I actually, the cover caught me really well, and I'd love to see what the story's about. Uh, not all the series that come in and it looked too great, but uh, there's just the ones I wanted to show you real quick that I thought were kind of interesting. It says, who's protecting your city at the top? I'm sorry, I can't get the whole uh, picture on my iPad because of the angle it's at. But this is called Cowl. It's basically a 19, uh, 1940 superhero kind of thing. And it says, uh, stands for Chicago Organized uh, Workers League. So, this should be interesting. These, this one here is from, it's a bunch of, about a bunch of clans under the water. People have gone under the water, and they're certain, uh, something's come down from, I think, from space. Uh, a probe holds clues to a new planet has come down and now these warring clans are trying to, these people from these clans are trying to get together to, to, to get it and it's called Low. And I thought that would look, now that picture looks pretty cool, that cover looks really cool. And uh, it's just called Low. So I want to check that one out. It's the same guy, I think, I don't know if I mentioned that, it's the same guys that did uh, Black Science. Or at least some of them. This one's really disturbing, it's called Nailbiter. And if I remember correctly, it's a person who's a psychotic killer. Oh, let's see if I can find it. A serial killer who eats the nails of his victims. Oof. And there's a, I'm assuming it's the front cover. So that'd be kind of cool to check out. Um, this one wasn't so, okay. Oh, there's like ones like, sh it's called Shutter, Techno, Tech Jacket, um, Restoration. The, although the cover for this looks, for restoration looks pretty cool. I guess I'd have to check it out. The guy in the background there on the on the short point. Uh, right there is kind of like a death kind of character. He's got a skull for a face. Uh, Shudder is like some girl with a camera and it looks like there's pixies and stuff and all kinds of supernatural creatures running around. The other one I thought would be really interesting was uh, Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips. It's called The Fade Out. And the cover looks like this, it's, but it's, the typer is covered in blood. I can't remember. It comes out this summer. That's a noir story. A, cr a criminal noir story in the 40s of Hollywood. And this is The Wicked and Divine. This looks really interesting. There we go. And the last one I want to show you real quick was the Witches. And um, it's spelt with a... Uh, a Y instead of an I, so. And right here, sort of, that looks like a tree, but on either side, it's hard to tell, but that looks like some kind of creature coming up from behind a tree. And it kind of looks like you're walking down a forest path, and it's all kind of hazy and stuff, like a tunnel. So those are some interesting series that are going to be coming out. got to check out some of those ones for sure. Um, some of the new comics I got this week are... Uh, well, actually, I'll stick with the, sh the image right now. I got Five Ghosts, number eight. Can't wait to check that one out. I also got a DC comic, uh, Green Lantern number 27. Oh, I also read too, off topic real quick. I don't know if anybody else, uh, I guess most people know this already, but apparently Peter's coming back in April. So they come back with Amazing Spider-Man number one. So that'd be great to see that. Can't wait to see Peter back. I don't know what they're going to do with uh, Superior Spider-Man, but let's find out, I guess. 
And I was talking to uh, Spyro, so hey Spyro, we were talking about uh, Shaolin Cowboy. And I heard a lot of people, other people say that this series Shaolin Cowboy is really good. And I was talking to Spyro about it, and, and uh, number four came out this week, and my guy had, he had the last three issues as well, and they had a lot, like they were the last one, two, and three issues. So I got to pick up a rough series from one to four in one shot. So here's, just to show you those ones, I guess these are my older comics. Shaolin Cowboy number one. Uh, number two. Apparently the artwork in here is just amazing, so I've got to check this out for sure. And number three. This one looks really cool, him swinging this thing and all these heads flying everywhere. The chainsaws. And then the new one looks just, just crazy. He's knocking all the zombie kind of things, I guess, off the cliff. So here's number four. Uh... Something odd I want to show you guys. I don't know if it's the first time anybody's ever showed something like this, but I just couldn't resist these things. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a story I went to uh, where I got some of these toys I want to show you next, but I couldn't resist them. I've been seeing them for a long time. Finally, he gave me a good deal on them. Got them for 10 bucks. It's a pair of cool ass running shoes. Now, they don't fit me, I know, but they just look super cool. Look at the cars. I guess it's the racing car one. It's got a Toucan Sam. We're going around right here. Uh, the Kellogg's dude, Tiger Pony the Tiger. I don't know, I just thought they were cool. Get those down there. Uh, some cool toys I picked up. These are uh, Hot Wheel Elite toys. And I just love the packaging on them. But then here's the Mystery Machine for Scooby Doo. It's got Shaggy and Scooby inside of it. Oops, sorry for the glare there. I thought that was pretty wicked cool. And I also picked up the Flintstones one. I'm not sure if that car is actually called anything. Uh, there's feet sticking at the bottom, but the backers are pretty cool too. So I thought those were pretty neat. We got to finish off our Pop Figures series uh, for Big Bang Theory. Yes? What Sorry? What car is it? I think it's called the Mint Mobile? That's what it says. Does it say that on there? Yeah. Oh, for crying out loud. Out of the worst of babes. There you go. The Flint Mobile. There we go. Didn't even see that. <laughs> oh, the mission machine's on the back of this one. I didn't even look at the back. That well, I guess. Thanks, buddy. Uh, we got to finish off our Big Bang um, pop figures. Uh, here's Penny. We already had Raj. Uh, sorry, not Raj. Raj is right here. There's Raj. Oh, we already had Sheldon and Amy. But uh, we didn't have the rest of them, and I got two for a good deal. So by two, you get a better deal than buying one. There's Howard, and my my favorite uh, one of my favorite characters on there, Bernadette. She's hilarious. Though. Now, if you're wondering where Leonard is, he is right here. The problem with Leonard is that he is missing an arm. Uh, it never was in the package. It never came with it. Never anything. It's not in there. Not loose, it's just missing. So we got this for free. So we got a one arm Leonard for free. And the last thing I want to show you guys right now is this really cool, this special guest I have for this week. I couldn't believe this. It's from NECA. It's a one fourth scale of Adam West as Batman. Now check out that. Now here, see if I can get close enough for you. So without the glare. Check out that face on that. He's in the bat cave. He comes with batarangs. If this belt opens up, and he's got a, it's got a communicator. Let's just say communicator. Yeah, communicator on his belt. So his belt will actually this gold buckle actually opens up, and it's got a, like a pretend light inside. And he's one fourth scale. And I wonder if I can get it. Sorry about the glare. If you can see inside there. He's got all kinds of gadgets and bat stuff in there. Oh, you can sort of see the battering there. And all kinds of bat, uh, bat gear. And Batman 1 fourth scale, 1 quarter scale, passion food. Now the packaging on this is just awesome. There you go. And then the back shows you what he does. Now look, isn't that just awesome? I just love this. There's the there's where it shows you the communicator and his belt. Let's see if I can get a little closer there. Sorry, my yeah, I'm up here. It's not camera's not so clear, but his communicator. He's got a walkie-talkie. There's the battering. 
He does the bat. <laughs> there's his uh, bat toosie kind of look with his. You can do his fingers. And then there's the Batmobile at the bottom. And this sucker is huge. He's a, he's a big dude. I can't wait to get. Hopefully, Adam West has been here for a couple times already. Hopefully, he comes back again because I want him to autograph this for me. He did a Batmobile and Mayor West from uh, Family Guy for me. But I think this would be awesome for him to sign. <laughs> so there we go. My special guest this week is Batman. Um, my computer's been screwed up a little bit. It's been holding now for a little while. Maybe I can show you guys this real quick. Too. One second. Let's see. Hopefully the computer holds. It's insane. Recon reconnection error. Reconnection error. So it's been driving me crazy. I've been trying this video a few times. Uh, I, my guy was having, my comic guy was having a sale. Like I, I've been saying recently, he's been having uh, getting older comics, and this guy's been selling his comics, and he brought in his hardcover books. So uh, he, he had a, he has to make room though. So he got gave, he was selling for fifty percent off. So he, and all these books I got for twelve dollars and fifty cents. Now just to give you an idea, I'll just show the inside of it. Now it's a hardcover book. This one is volume one of Out of the Night. Uh, February, March 1952 to January 1953, issues 1 to 6. Now this, these are all hardcover editions. Really cool books. And inside is, it shows the first six issues, of course, like I said. But then it's also got some really cool stuff inside. Talking about the artists and how they, the, the comic companies. There's Herbie there. America's Best Comics, showing all kinds of interesting in information about them. So I can't wait to d dwell into the, uh, dive into these things. And then it shows all the issues in the book, for six issues, and then it gets into the artwork of the issues. And these books are just, um, I don't think these books were even opened. They're just great stuff. So I got all kinds of books like this. I got quite a few actually. So I got Out of the Night. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really getting to this old horror and old science fiction stuff. It's just amazing stuff to read. It's just so much fun to read. Uh, hopefully, let's see if I can show you in the plastic. I haven't taken them out of plastic yet. Yeah, okay, I can show you. So they were all 20, they were all half off. So I got Forbidden Worlds, number volume one. It's got a nice red cover. I'm really starting to love this old horror stuff. Uh, Forbidden Worlds, number two. Uh, Scott, you're going to love this one. It's got a huge monkey on it, a King Kong. So there we go. Just love these old comics. It's got a nice red cover. Uh, the, the cover is actually red, but the binding is actually black. So it's, it's really, it looks really nice on a shelf. Um, this was issues one to six of. I've never heard of this one actually. This is an interesting one. It's called Skeleton Hand in Secrets of the supernatural and there's a bonus issue in here of the clutching hand this is just it's got a green cover uh, and a black side too so take a look at that one I've never even heard of this comic amazing looking like he's playing a uh, Death's playing a fiddle and um, it's sort of like a green kind of zombie kind of creature there I don't know what that is thing. the skeleton lady there the green some kind of vampire looking guy here, but oh, it's just and then there's the bonus issue you get. So that's like really great stuff. Uh, this is volume two of this one. I couldn't find volume one, but it's, and it's, it's again, they're all black bound on the side, but the, the front of this is blue. And I couldn't find number one, but I got a volume two. But the reason is because it's adventures into it, the unknown, and how can you resist a cover like that? Like, look at that, it's so cool. Very nice. Just took off something. Here. Oh, sorry. On the back too, it shows a few of the issues in the back too. And just a great deal on them. Uh, the last two I got were, were sorry, where were uh, Boris Karloff, Tales of Mystery. Now I've seen these comics around, and I love the painted covers, but I've, I've never actually grabbed onto them. So if I like these, I can go back and get some of the issues. And I know my guy has a son that he's been getting. So here's Boris Karloff. Tales of Mystery. 
Volume 1. It's kind of cool cover. There's a, it's like a sea monster coming right out of the, out of the water there. This is issues... I think it's the first six issues for this too, but... Brand new, these books from Dark... These are all from Dark Horse. Um, brand new, these ones were all $50 a piece. So $12.50, I mean, can't resist that. And the last one I want to show you guys was uh, Boris Karloff's Tales of Mystery in Volume Number 2. And this was kind of kind of conquistador or Spaniard kind of like character with the hats and stuff. But that's what the front of that one looked like. Boris Karloff. Oh, that's weird. Sorry, my computer went to sleep there for a second. It's kind of funny. There's that one. Now these ones are... I guess I've always seen these ones, but I've never... I've always seen these comics, but I've never actually dwelled into them. But I do love the covers. And, oh, here's, here's a nice one. I'll show you. The cover. Now look at these... Oh, it's so cool, great painted covers and painted artwork in here. Look at that. Oh, my fingers are annoying. And there's the artwork from some of the some of the ones in there. So I get to see what the artwork actually looks like before I buy the comics, so get to check these out. Lots of reading this week, lots of reading. I've been so busy doing all kinds of stuff. And hopefully I can get to jump right into these. Like the football games are on, so Oh, San Francisco's being 49ers right now. But my Patriots won. I know not everybody loves the Patriots. I'm the only one in this house that likes the Patriots. So, because what is Tom Brady, Gavin? Tom um, Lady. That's what they call him in this house. Not so. <laughs> um, yeah, that, that's all I want to show you guys this week. I'm pretty excited about those old horror books. Like, oops. I'm really getting into them. This, this, I've seen a lot of the others, but I've never, okay, again, for the last, uh, I want to show you again one last time. I've never seen this one. Skeleton Hand. This should be really interesting to read. Actually, let's, let's take it out for a sec while my computer again. Hopefully a computer holds. Please, computer. Uh, it's same kind of style artwork. Beyond the Grave. That looks pretty cool. There we go. It's just really interesting to, to read old science fiction, old, old horror stuff, and see what they got scared of in the old days. Because nowadays, I don't know if it's because we're desensitized or not, but... It's, is it scary because it's scary, or is it scary because it makes you jump out and scares the hell out of you because you just, just the shock value, or is it, is it scary because it's scary? It's creepy. Yeah. creepy. Creepy. Good word, good word. Okay, I'm not going to risk any more time on my computer here before it crashes, otherwise I'm going to have to do the video all over again. I don't want to do that because I'm getting tired. <laughs> I haven't to do this so many times. But thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you guys soon.